today I'm going to make jambalaya. It's a low-fat, quick, simple dish. Um, most ingredients everybody would already have in their home. So I hope you enjoy. The recipe will be listed on pouchfriendly.com. Here are the ingredients for the jambalaya. We have chicken broth, instant brown rice, bay leaf, um, parsley. It calls for fresh, but we didn't have any, so we can use dried. Um, prepared salsa, Cajun seasoning, oregano, garlic, thyme, and then of course your holy trinity, uh, celery, green bean, excuse me, green pepper, and onion. And then I have a half of a turkey Polish kielbasa, two chicken thighs, and a handful of already cooked shrimp. I have a couple tablespoons of olive oil heated up in my pan here. Now I'm going to add the vegetables. Again, that's a whole onion, about a cup of green pepper, and about a cup of chopped celery. And I'm going to do About a clove and a half, maybe two cloves of garlic. And I'm just going to let this cook until the vegetables soften. It's going to take about four minutes. And I'll show you the rest after the vegetables are where they need to be. The vegetables have softened. They've been cooking for about four minutes now. So I'm going to add the two diced chicken breasts. I'll let these cook for about two minutes before I add the kielbasa. Excuse me, these are chicken thighs. I usually use chicken breasts, but I figured I'd try something different. Um, I hear that chicken thighs are sometimes easier for people after gastric bypass surgery. They're not as um, dense or as dry as chicken breast can be because they do have a little bit of fat on them. So I'm going to let these cook for a couple minutes and then I'm going to add the sausage. Now I'm going to add the kielbasa. And incidentally, I said that this was a half a pack. I'm going to use the other half a pack for another recipe later in the week. But I wanted to show you that I um, took the skin off of these and uh, sliced them in quarters and then diced them up so that they're bite size. I'm going to let these cook for about two minutes and then the shrimp I'm going to add at the end after um, everything else is put together. But I'll, I'll show you that when I get to it. Now the um, kielbasa has been cooking for about two or three minutes longer than the chicken. So I'm going to add the recipe calls for, um, I think it was like a teaspoon of oregano and a half a teaspoon of thyme. And I only have Italian seasoning, so I'm using about a teaspoon, or excuse me, about a tablespoon of both of them. And dried parsley, a bay leaf. And a couple tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. I have to work it out because, you know, this is the south. There's some humidity here. So a couple tablespoons of Cajun seasoning. Mmm, I wish you could smell this. Well, just smell it when you make it because I know you'll make it. Okay. Then I'm going to add, um, the original recipe called for about, and I can't remember, I adapted this recipe so long ago, like five years ago, six years ago even. The original recipe was like a cup and a half of white rice, so I brought it down to a half a cup of brown rice. Um, if you want to use white rice, if, I mean, if you're okay with the carbs, then by all means go ahead if you don't want to use the rice. You don't have to, or make it with the rice on the side if you're uh, cooking for a family. 
and you want them to have the rice, but you know your your uh, gastric bypass and you can't. So I'm gonna let that um, toast up, brown up just a little bit, let it soak up the juices of the chicken and the vegetables and everything. Excuse me and everything. I let the rice um, cook for just a few minutes. I kept turning it around. Now I'm going to add maybe a cup of salsa. And this is hot. You'll use it, of course, according to your taste. That's probably not a full cup. So I have some left here when I had a craving for Mexican food. So I'm going to use some of that. And we're going to do about, about two cups, maybe, of the chicken broth. Just going to put it in the salsa to get all the, or the salsa dry to get it all out of there. So it's about a cup and a quarter. I'm just going to watch it since um, I'm not exactly using using the exact measurements, you know, for the rice ratio. I don't want it to be too soupy, so I'm just going to um, make it a little bit shy on the chicken broth. And I'm going to let that cook for, um, I'm going to turn it down to simmer for about five, seven minutes till the rice starts to um, plump up. Then I'll add the shrimp and let it cook for probably another two, three minutes just to heat the shrimp through. Okay, it's been cooking over low heat for probably about seven minutes altogether. I added the shrimp um, probably like two minutes ago. And you can see it's still a little soupy, which is good. It's good for your pouch. Um, so that's it. Looks good, huh? Enjoy.